What's up guys? So today we are going to be taking a look at what I feel is the current best Ultima 7 raid team. A lot of people on stream have been asking me to do an updated version of my Ultima 7 top raid team video, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to mention also a few substitutions you can make to this team that work really well, but keep in mind again, this is what I feel is the absolute best current Ultima 7 raid team, which means that it's going to use some high-end rarer characters that most players won't have available, but thanks to some of the events coming back around, uh, maybe that's about to change. But having said that, uh, I am in this outside lane here starting with B2. So we're going to show nodes B2, A3, A4, A5. Uh, this mini boss was already done for us, by the way. Um, B5, the Star Lord mini boss, and then finally A6 right here. Uh, and this is the 60% point. Uh, if I can get to this point right here, um, as well as basically the rest of my lines getting to about this point, then we will have 60% and Ultima 7. So that's what we're going to show. But before we even get into that, uh, the trickiest part of the raid to conquer is actually here. Uh, this area, which you can see, um, you can also see more of it here. This, uh, in particular, this area is ad space. So I'm going to show you first uh, how you deal with ad space. I want to give a shout out to Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play epic dark fantasy turn-based hero collection RPG with over 400 collectible and customizable characters. But more importantly, it's a turn-based RPG done right. I found the new player experience to be very generous. In fact, you can earn a handful of top-tier characters just for inviting some friends to the game. I also love that this game can be played on both mobile and PC, and you can effortlessly switch between the two platforms whenever you want. And now the highly anticipated Battle Pass is on. Season 1 is live, and you can win awesome rewards including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the specified daily and weekly challenges. So you can find me in the game under the name Casino, and if you're quick enough, you can also join my clan. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion, Hexweaver. Note that these exclusive rewards are only available for the next 30 days. All right, so with ad space conquered, we are of course going to jump right into the first node here, which is B2. Now, B2 is uh, unlike any other node in this raid, it's very, very easy. You can use just about any team. What I recommend, especially if you're newer to Ultima 7, is that you use this node to charge up Storm to be used at a later date. I'm not gonna do that for this run because I'm not going to be pushing so far to one of the very, very end nodes that I'll need Storm, but it's a good practice to basically use Storm on this first node and charge her up. But uh, just to have some fun because you can use so many teams on this very first node, I'm going to use the updated Symbiote Spider-Verse team. I call them the Symbiote Spider Bros. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll throw them in and we'll have some fun in this first node. So in general, I like to go for Mordo first because he heal blocks. If you're running a team where you can deal with the heal blocks, then you don't necessarily have to go for Mordo first. But I like to take out Mordo because this team doesn't have a solution to the heal blocks. Now they'd still be fine if we didn't take out Mordo first, but it's just generally a good practice because they get so much healing. Um, one of the reasons why those debuffs in particular don't matter, uh, as you'll see, this team is just going to heal a tremendous amount. So we can spread some disrupts there. And uh, Carnage should be able to get a few kills here. That generates a bunch of speed. This team, in addition to already having a bunch of fast characters, gets even faster because of all the extra speed from all the kills from Carnage. So this team just snowballs really effectively. Uh, we'll go ahead and rewind Magneto just so we don't have to deal with the blinds. Um, there is an unfortunate heal block, but it'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and take out Pyro there. We'll go ahead and spread the slow that Miles applied like so. We'll go ahead and uh, drop a stun here. This would have also spread more slows. Um, we have another Mordo, so now uh, we want to take out Mordo just to prevent that heal block. Magneto slowed, so we have plenty of time, and we're going to be gaining speed from all of this, so this will go off without a hitch. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop this here and extend all those debuffs. We'll uh, go ahead and flip that to a slow, and then we'll hit Magneto one more time, and that should take him out. Uh, when that bleed kicks in, he should be pretty much done for. All right. All right, Pyro is able to get a special off. Not really going to matter. Again, everyone's going to heal to full anyway. So there goes Mordo. There goes Magneto. And Assault is done as well. And that should be, uh, that should be a wrap.
All right, moving on to what I consider to be the first real node, which is A3. And this is where I'm gonna bring out my choice for the premium Ultima 7 team. Now the beauty of Ultima 7 is that uh, you can modify your teams for different nodes, but the main team that I've been using is this one right here. Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, Minerva, Scientist Supreme, and Ultron. There are a lot of substitutions that can be made. The main one that I get asked about is can you and should you run Shuri in place of Minerva? So Shuri is actually a little bit safer than Minerva here uh, in terms of not letting anyone die. Between Yo-Yo constantly applying offense down and Scientist Supreme also regularly applying offense down plus having the defense ups constantly from Shuri, you're very, very safe. You also get healing from Scientist Supreme and from the Ultron bots that heal. Um, this is gonna time out, so I'll uh, click it again in a sec. But uh, yes, you can sub in Shuri. The reason I don't is because with the power that my version of this team is at, I don't have an issue. Things have to go horrifically wrong for me to be in real danger up until the 60% point with this team. So I don't worry too much about subbing Shuri in, uh, because with Shuri, Shuri does a lot less damage than Minerva because Minerva has her ult. So I typically don't run Shuri because I'm more likely to time out when I'm running the Shuri version. But when I get to nodes that are very, very tough, or even this team has a chance of timing out, then subbing in Shuri for Minerva is the safer team. Uh, but again, I run this team because they can basically do a lot of the nodes in one shot and I don't have to rely on uh, hitting it twice, which is more energy efficient. But if you're not 100% clearing Ultima 7, then you're probably not really having energy concerns anyway. So this is the team that I go with. But there are a ton of substitutions that can be made. There's probably a list of like 20 characters that do really, really well in Ultima 7. But this is my choice for the premier raid team right now, and I will show you why. All right, so right off the bat, I like to use the yo-yo special here, just because it hits multiple targets. The offense down, as you can see, reduced his focus enough that Ultron only took one bleed. We'll go ahead and summon the Ultron bots here. And then we're gonna sign to Supreme ult. And uh, really the only important thing here now is uh, when Black Bolt goes, you wanna hit someone that has slow so that it flips his uh, negative status effects and the positive status effects. We'll go ahead and drop the Minerva ult just to get some more damage on the field. And uh, at this point, this team can actually be put into auto. Um, I can also play it manually. I'm not at any risk of timing out, but a lot of the later nodes, as you'll see, I will run on auto, but we'll go ahead and drop the Ultron ult, which will extend all of his positive effects, get rid of the Juggernaut first. Here, because we're gonna have so many positive effects, the biggest threat is the Doctor Strange. So I make sure to go after the Doctor Strange. So we go ahead and use the Yo-Yo ult, which gives Black Bolt the energy to fire his ult. And so many people are defense down um, that it's, it's pretty effective. And that's only a four red star Black Bolt, by the way. Uh, so you don't need a crazy, crazy Black Bolt for this. Um, but we'll go ahead and summon some more Ultron bots here. We'll uh, try to take Vision out as, or sorry, uh, Venom out, cause he's low. Um, then we'll go ahead and hit this Vision with a rewind. Um, he, Ultron still has speed up, so we'll actually hit him with another rewind. And uh, that's again, just to prevent actual buff stripping from uh, a vision ultimate. Um, we'll go ahead and aim this at Juggernaut because he doesn't have any defensive status effects up so we can take him out and we'll get good energy back for Ultron. But at this point already, the node is almost over here. So I'm mainly just trying to make sure that everyone has the cooldowns back going into the uh, next match. So we'll go ahead and rewind Carnage here, but we're mainly just gonna be using basic attacks, which is why that ability block doesn't really matter. Um, again, just trying to make sure everyone pretty much has their cooldowns that they'll need for the next node. So we'll go ahead and use the speed up here. Obviously the Ultron bots don't need their cooldowns, but the fact that Ultron can summon, he's good. So we're good there. Uh, the Minerva healing should get Ultron back to full. I believe he's the only one damaged. So we'll go ahead and Get some speed up, hit with this, hit with the basic, which will give him regen. All right, and then there's the heal. So everyone's walking away with full health and all the crucial cooldowns are available. So that node is a success. All 
All right, so as with most Ultima 7 nodes, it's really the setup here that matters. Uh, actually getting punished there for not having the T4 and the yo-yo basic. We don't get the assist from Black Bolt that would have removed that taunt, but that's okay. Um, now we can just go ahead and use this anyway, which is fine. Um, it doesn't much matter which of the uh, enemies over here you choose to focus out first. So we're gonna go after them. Minerva is uh, actually kind of low. Uh, not only that, but she's heal blocked, but fortunately because we have Scientist Supreme, even if they do tunnel on Minerva and take her out, fortunately we have a chance to revive a Scientist Supreme and the team is still pretty safe, uh, so usually you can, you can get that revive if you need it. But once the buff flip has happened, which you can see, now Minerva has death proof and because that will get extended anytime Ultron kills someone, uh, she should be very safe. She's already got two stacks of it. So we'll go ahead and rewind Drax here so he's not taunting, but we're already to the point where we can throw auto fight on here. Again, you can play a little bit more optimally than auto fight if you want, but uh, in the interest of not timing out, I uh, want to take out Vision and Scarlet Witch as the priorities here. So fortunately there were no negative effects for her to extend. We've got the Ultron bots on the field. All right, Vision dodges, that takes him out. All right, Drax is gonna be taunting here. We've got a bunch of negative effects and that hits at the perfect time because another wave just dropped down. So their effectiveness is instantly tempered. Unfortunately, the Black Bolt ult went off with offense down, but it was hitting into defense down. So it's not, not too terrible, but we're just saving time here by letting auto fight uh, take over. Now that Drax is not taunting, we want to take out Scarlet Witch before she can rebalance. There we go. Then we'll just go after whoever is low. The uh, ideal punching bag to leave for last is going to be Ravager Stitcher. Um, so you'll see here, probably after Spider-Man goes down, I'll take off auto fight. Um, here we go. And we'll just make sure that uh, we have all the cooldowns that we need. So that was actually a bit of a waste of the Minerva ult, but again, it's not that big a deal. So now we're basically just going to use a bunch of basic attacks. And uh, all right, so Ultron needs three energy. This will only get him one, but at least he'll be one closer. But so we're actually not gonna be in the best shape in terms of cooldowns going into the next node. Scientist Supreme will at least have her ult, so that's good. But this is probably the end of this node right here. All right. All right, so we're not getting a perfect setup here on the tanks node, but we should be okay. We'll go ahead and use that special just because I don't remember what Black Bolt's cooldowns are at, and you wanna use the yo-yo ult when Black Bolt still needs energy toward his ult. So we'll go ahead and scoop a kill here. So now Ultron is in position to ult uh, for his very next turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and use this basic to flip those effects. I like to take out the troopers first because the troopers actually do uh, probably the most damage here. But so we'll go ahead and fire off that yo-yo uh, ult. Um, I wasn't watching closely enough again to Black Bolt's cooldowns, but uh, okay, good. So I did use it at the right time. As you can see, he does not have his ult available. So making sure that he gets that energy toward it was a good play. So we get the Ultron bots on the field and uh, this node is uh, so far with my team, it is possible to beat this node without auto fight, but it really comes down to the wire. It's uh, much smoother sailing if you throw it in auto fight. And of course you can still manually aim for certain targets. So uh, once that trooper goes down, there's another trooper on the field. Perfect time for an offense up Black Bolt ult to hit everyone on the field. But yeah, the, the trooper return damage is pretty mean. So we want to take out the troopers as soon as we see them. Black Bolt does a really good job of uh, limiting Nick Fury's effectiveness on this stage <laughs> because uh, Whenever he summons, which is the first thing he'll do when he drops down, he'll strip all of his positive effects and put a Disrupted on him. So with the Disrupted, even when Nick Fury uses his special, he can't even give people the defense up. So uh, yeah, he doesn't do much except for heal some shield units a little bit. So it's a bit of a waste of the Black Bolt special, but that's okay. Another trooper goes down. Thanks to Yo-Yo, the offense downs on the crossbones aren't too bad. 
We'll take this one out. Uh, well, as soon as uh, Captain America is done taunting here. All right, we'll take this one out just because he's pretty low. Ultron getting the kill means a lot of positive effects extended for all the villain tech on the field, namely Scientist Supreme and Minerva. All right, the thrown weapon chain stops because the yo-yo evade. All right, now we got a trooper back here. So we'll go after this trooper. This node just takes a while. There's no two ways about it. Uh, it's called tanks and it's because it's a bunch of characters with really high health. But the Minerva ult comes in, takes out Captain America. Slowly working on Trooper. There he goes. All right. Go ahead and hit that Assault with the defense down. That takes care of Assault. Hydra Grenadier is going to go down right there. And uh, at this point, I'll take it off auto and uh, try to get people's cooldowns back. So we'll go ahead and take out the Mercenary Soldier. I don't mind using that special there. It's not a, a big, important cooldown to have. Um, go ahead and fire that. Obviously, the Ultron bots, you can just use their specials freely because they're not coming with you into the next node. But we'll save that. Since Ultron has the ability to summon, uh, we'll just make sure that he keeps that for the start of the next node. Uh, we'll make sure to keep Black Bolt's ultimate. We'll make sure to keep Yo-Yo's ult. You don't want to waste the Yo-Yo ult giving energy to Black Bolt when he can already ult. Um, obviously, do want to use that healing special in case anyone still needs to be topped off. And uh, we'll keep working on Fury here. But, okay, he wants to taunt. That's fine. He wants to counter. That's also fine. We want to make sure Science Supreme has her ultimate available. Basically, the basic attack symphony, with the exception of the Ultron bots, it's just basic attack, basic attack, basic attack. And uh, there you go, that's a wrap. The only cooldown we don't have is Minerva Ultimate. Alright, we're on to B5, the Star Lord mini boss. Now this is the first node where something actually could go wrong. It should be fine, but um, obviously gonna put out the disclaimer, depending on who Loki chooses, because of how hard my Black Bolt hits, uh, if Black Bolt gets called to assist on the Loki mind control, whoever Black Bolt kills can't be revived. So if Black Bolt punches out my Minerva or my Scientist Supreme, they're not coming back. So you just kinda hope that Loki doesn't pick Black Bolt. Uh, and again, in most instances, uh, even if Black Bolt hits someone, it's not gonna be enough to kill them. But, you know, if the enemy AI and the RNG are particularly unfortunate and they all just dogpile one character, uh, it can happen. And this would be an instance where Shuri is a bit safer. But uh, again, while it's entirely possible to sub in Shuri and still do this in one shot, I worry a little bit about timing out sometimes, depending on how long the setup takes, you can time out. So uh, yeah, again, shouldn't be much of an issue, but so we're not going to open up with the yo-yo ultimate because Black Bolt already has his ult. We got the assist there, so uh, already we've broken the taunt on Drax, which is good. So we'll get these Ultron bots down here, fire off the Scientist Supreme ult, and uh, going to go after Rocket. Um, we can use this, he won't get offense up unless we wait and see if he gets it from an Ultron bot, so I'll go ahead and fire it here. He's not offense down, so we'll get good value out of it. Yo-Yo uh, got hit pretty hard there, but she should be fine. We'll heal her back over 50% right there. Have Ultron fire at Rocket. Uh, now we'll go ahead and use the Yo-Yo ult and give that energy to Black Bolt. And uh, it's at this point that I'm going to throw it into auto. Now I'm uh, obviously we're gonna have to hit the Drax here. Once we break the Drax taunt or kill Drax then uh, I'm gonna want to go after Black Panther just because he can get resets off the Ultron bots but seems to be doing fine so far. Got a lucky resist from Black Bolt on that Spider-Man stun but even if he were stunned his next turn is not essential. All right, that takes care of Drax. Now, again, we wanna take out the Black Panther. 
especially with the uh, current bug giving him too much speed if he gets an assist. I'm not sure that there is anyone to assist him on this node, but still just a, a good practice. Uh, all right, we now have a, a full 10 ally characters on the field. So we've got a bit of an advantage. We want to take out the Star-Lord before he causes too much trouble. Get debuffs down on the enemies. Miles hits us with some Disrupteds, but because Scientist Supreme is going to be flipping soon, that actually means that we've been gifted some immunities, which is pretty nice. Black Bolt gets a nice buff flip there. So uh, I misclicked, actually. I wanted that to be aimed at Loki, but that's okay. So now we've got immunities on everyone but an Ultron bot, so that's good. Well, not on everyone, but on everyone that uh, Miles hit with the Disrupted in the first place. But yeah, we really want to do as much as we can to Loki. So we get lucky there. Loki picks uh, an Ultron bot, so everyone's fine. There's the Minerva ultimate, and it should be smooth sailing from here on out. Once Loki goes down, we can hit Spider-Man. For the most part, uh, just kind of ignore the aim infectors. They don't do much. Gamora goes out, Black Bolt's barking at people. <clears throat> so, I'll probably take it off auto as soon as uh, Drax goes down, but you can see, even with all the auto fight going on, coming a, a, a bit close with all the health that we still have to chew through. Alright, I think we'll just uh, pop Spider-Man there, and uh, we'll see if we can get the other one. He might dodge a bit. Alright, we got more Disrupteds. Scientist Supreme still has her immunity. Alright, Spider-Man's down. Bag had slipped. Unfortunately, uh, he had kept his Disrupted, but as soon as the healer bot went, it got cleared, so that's good. All right, so now that there's four remaining, I'll take it off auto, but it's gonna be a, a bit close, even still. Um, again, we should be fine, but you can see it's it's coming down to the wire. Some of these nodes, uh, you know, they're, they're just designed so that they just can't be cleared that quickly unless you have a grossly overpowered team, but I'm thinking we'll be all right. All right, that takes out that Miles. A Miles out of stealth isn't so bad. All right. We'll make sure she keeps those cooldowns. Rewind him and he's slowed, so he's not gonna get another turn before this is all over. All right, she won't have her ult. He'll have everything, that's good. All right, so now we'll just spam basic attacks. Cutting it kinda close on time here. And eight seconds to spare, but nice and clean. All right, and the last node that we're gonna do for 60%, and I, I do plan on at some point making a video doing a bunch of the later nodes, but uh, for most people who are attempting Ultima 7, even hitting 60% is a, a pretty big task. So uh, I think this should be plenty helpful enough, especially with uh, a bunch of people, including some free-to-play players, who are going to be getting Black Bolt during his uh, event that's coming up here. So we'll do this final node, and again, this is one uh, I'm going to buy the course just because it's energy that I don't have on hand. But um, this uh, this node in particular is one that would benefit from me using Shuri in place of Minerva. There's definitely an element of risk using Minerva here, but the trade-off is uh, if things don't go poorly and the odds are at least in our favor, if things don't go poorly, uh, I have a much better chance of one-shotting this node. But this uh, node in particular, I time out on a lot. Even when everything goes right, I time out a lot. Uh, not always, again, I've one-shot this node before. Maybe I'll one-shot it here, but uh, timeouts are pretty common, um, at least for me, for this node, just how my team is structured. So. All right, Black Bolt gets chosen. We'll go ahead and fire the yo-yo special because uh, I'm not sure if Black Bolt uh, 
has his ultimate. We'll get some Ultron bots down. That was really close on Scientist Supreme, but we will uh, be able to get her ult down. All right, that stun just affects that Ultron bot. That's okay. Go ahead and fire that basic. Uh, all right, let's flip his effects. Let's get this speed. JJ strips Ultron's buffs. That's very unfortunate. So we're able to give him a regen. Um, I want to go after a Loki if possible. Uh, I want to rewind Drax because he's going to taunt. We'll go ahead and flip here. Then we'll fire this. Uh, I think he has his ult, but that's okay. I want to do as much AoE damage as I can right now before it's too late. So we'll let this loose. All right, and that went pretty well. Uh, so we should be all right. Um, that, we handled that first wave pretty well. We want to take out the Mantis because she will uh, certainly draw things out. That JJ should be dead unless Mantis saves her, which is a very real possibility. But uh, trying to take out the Mordos as quickly as possible. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and hit JJ there. But all right, so now we'll, uh, we'll try to hit Mordo. Eventually Juggernaut is going to taunt and we will be stuck on Juggernaut for a bit. But because we were able to uh, deal with that first wave so efficiently, again, I'm thinking we're okay. Because of the Mystiques, again, there's still the possibility that an unfortunate mind control gets Black Bolt to kill someone on my team that then can't be revived. So there's still a bit of risk, but again, we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, as you can see, Minerva's heal blocked, but uh, all right. So everyone who is heal blocked is now death proofed, which is good, which means it's the perfect time to take out Mordo, essentially. If we can get him. All right, looks like Juggernaut's gonna taunt. So hopefully, uh, a couple of the AoEs can reach him and take him out. All right, we're stealing good buffs from Juggernaut. Ultron has an immunity. All right, thanks to Yo-Yo, Black Bolt takes out Mordo. Now uh, we do have to worry a little bit about Mantis basically keeping Juggernaut in the fight here and stalling us out, but we broke the taunt, so I'm actually gonna go after Mantis here as she's now the one that um, stands the, the highest chance of dragging this out too long. I'm not as worried about Mystique now that her ult is down. All right, and Ultron just summoned again, so, um, all right. That's a good point to take it off auto and try to save cooldowns. So we will use the Science Supreme Special to make this part go quicker, and we're gonna try to finish off this Juggernaut. But we wanna save a lot of the big cooldowns. We do wanna use this because Ultron doesn't have anywhere near enough energy to summon more bots, but that gave him a ton. We'll go ahead and rewind this Mystique because she's the more dangerous one. Uh, I believe that gives energy to Ultron as well. This will give him speed. All right, so now he can summon, so he's in a good spot. We'll continue stripping buffs off this Mystique. And we're gonna basic attack Symphony her out. All right, Ultron's got everything. All right, we got a rewind on her, which is nice because she's slowed. Um, all right, Black Bolt will have his ult available at the start of the next node, so that's good. Let's rewind her again. And uh, that should do it. All right, so there you have it. As you can see, uh, that team is in great shape, ready to go into the next node, and there are substitutions that can be made. While I didn't have to use any uh, raid health recharges, uh, you do get some just throughout the course of playing in a given week between the challenges and some other sources. So it's okay if you have to do some healing, you know, as long as you're mainly just using what you've got to work with. So this team works really well. Um, there are other nodes where you can send in other teams first. For example, if on this Vision mini boss node you're really having trouble, you can send in the Brotherhood first and let them make a dent, or you can send in a Phoenix X-Men team and let them make a dent, or you can bring out your charged up Storm and use her. Uh, there's a lot of different options, but the beauty of Ultima 7 is that you can use all of your teams available. But in terms of a uh, one team fits all that can pretty much tackle any node, uh, the team that I just used, again, is my personal choice for the cleanest, smoothest sailing through Ultima 7, especially to the 60% point. Um, so again, I do realize that not everyone has Black Bolt and Yo-Yo at a good level, but uh, hopefully people should within a month or so, uh, between Black Bolt's event coming back out and Yo-Yo 
presumably being made farmable. The devs did state they're making the Inhumans available prior to the Ebony Maw event in May, so it shouldn't be too long before this is a team that everyone can make. Um, and prior to this, if you're wondering what I was running, um, I do have a, another video on it, but prior to having Black Bolt and Yo-Yo uh, in their places, I was using Hela and Vision. Um, Hela is just a, a really strong substitute for Black Bolt in terms of AoE, and she spreads negative effects, she can disrupt, just a lot of good utility. Anytime they hit Greg, a lot of big single target attacks get wasted on Greg, and that just heals Hela and rewinds the turn meter of the enemies. And the reason for Vision was firstly, uh, he makes Minerva and Scientist Supreme and himself spawn with two turns of defense up. So that adds a lot of, uh, oh, and Ultron as well. So the only person not spawning with defense up was Hela, who could be revived by both Minerva and Scientist Supreme. Uh, in addition, he's really good for buff clearing with his AoE. And then arguably most importantly, uh, Vision can ability block which Hela can then combo spread and ability block an entire enemy wave, which makes them much, much easier to deal with. So that's the variant of the team that I was running prior to this. But again, there are a ton of really, really top tier characters that can be used in Ultima 7. You can absolutely use Sue Storm. Uh, you can absolutely use Captain Marvel. Uh, you can absolutely use Shuri. You can use Falcon. There's, there's a lot of them. Um, I might make a list of all the characters that can reasonably be used in Ultima 7, but there are a lot of good infographics, including on my Discord server that you can check out uh, for ideas on hybrids. And I also recommend we will be updating it very soon. Uh, 3.10.0 should be here inside of a week. I think maintenance is March 31st for that. Um, and shortly after that, we're gonna be doing a new tier list and then a new top five teams. But the two characters coming next patch, we don't expect to shake up any of the current metas, it's mainly Ironheart and Proxima. So the top arena teams and the top raid teams probably shouldn't see any change. Um, so yeah, should be able to, to put that out pretty quickly, but it probably shouldn't change too much from the graphics that we already have out. So you can go right now and see the most recent top five teams tier list. And there's a bunch of different raid teams there. Um, there are non-Ultron Ultima 7 hybrids you can check out as well. Um, there's a Spider-Verse hybrid, there's an Asgardian hybrid, um, there's, there's a, a, a good handful of teams that work really, really well in Ultima 7 these days that don't require uh, crazy rare characters. So yeah, uh, definitely check that out. Anyone is welcome to join the Discord server, which is discord.gg slash casino. We have blitz predictions, infographics, videos, data mines, content creator Q&A and more. But yeah, I wanted to uh, make sure and put this video out because someone asked about it yesterday on stream and I thought, uh, yeah, that wouldn't take long to get that video out, so let me do it. So thank you guys very much for checking it out and I will see you guys real soon. Until then, peace.